Good morning, guys. Jimmy D here, back with another installment of Planet of Lana. Today is going to be a double achievement. So, let's go ahead and start up our game. Remember the spear in the lower right for checkpoints. Go ahead and press play once you get there and use our save slot and go ahead and resume. Should start us off on those cliffs near where we got the first shrine. Yep, so go ahead and go to your left and to your right. And there's our dearly departed wild boar. And just to make sure, yep, we got our piece. So let's go back over here. And yeah, we don't want to use him for a pig roast, but we do want to take him and press X and slide him to the right here. On top of these flowery mushroom whatever thingies. And you can see that the weight of him brings out that little extra ledge. Oh, go ahead and continue to the right. Use that extra ledge. Press A to climb up. Jump over to the other one. And like always, head to the right. Ooh, sounds ominous. And jump up and sneak under. And now it's time for a little cut scene. Huh. Some type of creature. Oh! Looks like he's caught. And once we have control of Lana, go ahead and jump down. And the first thing we want to do is we want to take his little trap and move it all the way to the right-hand side here. Then once you've done that, go back over here and interact with a switch and move it to the right with your left thumbstick and let the little guy out. Spoiler alert, guys. This little guy's name is Mui. And he is going to be our companion for the rest, or a good portion of the rest of the game. Go ahead and use the trap that you just sprung. And jump over to the right. And let's follow Mui. Now, here's the trick. Mui is our companion now, so we have to be careful of his deaths or being caught by the enemy, just the same as we have to worry about ours. Otherwise, that voids the flawless achievement. So, let's go ahead. Now, we got to get a good running jump on this one and jump at the last second. And grab a hold of that ledge there. All about timing, guys. All about timing. And jump up on the rope. And this time we gotta do a little bit of a swing. And grab a hold. And jump up. And you guessed it. Continue to the right. Now, spoiler alert. This bridge is going to break on us. Don't worry, we're not going to die. Poof, down through. Head to the left. You'll notice this bridge looks a little weak. Jump up on this cliff here. 
and jump over to that weak platform and fall down through to an underground tunnel. Go ahead and sneak under. And yep, press X and rip the boards off. Duck under. And Mui's back with us. And he does us a favor. He knocks the rope over. Sweet. Climb the rope. Jump to the right. Where's Mui? He's gotten a little ahead of us. And if you guys notice, this is the Vista in the chapter select for chapter two. Let me go ahead and make our triple jump here. One and two. As you can see, beautiful visuals, beautiful visuals. Take, you can even take a screenshot, and use it as your screensaver on your uh, Xbox dashboard. Go ahead and continue to the right, or wallpaper, not screensaver, I'm sorry. Go ahead and sneak under here, and we're going to go into a little cutscene here. Now, like I said, we need to be cautious of Mui's life just as much as ours. Fortunately, he set the trap off and the spider can't get a hold of him. Now, here's the trick to this guy. He makes his rounds back and forth, left and right. He goes as far as that rock there. Right, all the way back to here, and then repeat. What we need to do is wait until he hits the rock, and then turns around and we drop it to the grass below. Quickly ducking. Now, wait for him to do his rounds again. What we have to do is push Mui's box all the way to the right. There is a strict time window. It can be done all in one shot. But if you can't do it in one shot, do it in two, halfway and halfway. And push. And duck. Again, we wait till him to look to the right. And we're gonna jump up on the box and to the cliff. If he spots us, it's okay. As long as we can get underneath here, we're all set. Now, we gotta spring Mui. And by doing that, we have to operate the switch. But the spider can't see him either. I'm gonna wait until he gets traveling to the right, underneath of us, just underneath us, and spring it. Mui gets out, and he gets on under, and the spider bot can't get us. Voila. Mui knocks the rope over for us. Climb up on the rope. Sneak under. I'm always twice as grateful for letting him out. Travel to the right and cut scene. And don't worry guys, spoiler alert, she survives. But I'm assuming she gets knocked unconscious because now we're in kind of a dream state here. And it is exactly the same as what we did in chapter one. And once we got control, go ahead and head to the left. Just like in chapter one. Jump up.
And you guessed it, we need to move the cart to the left. Scramble up on the cart and jump to the cliff over here. And whoops, I missed. So let's grab this cart. Come on, Jimbo. There we go. Sneak under. And at this point, guys, Lana is going to wake up. I forget exactly where this achievement's going to pop. But there's two. And if you've made it this far, guys, without dying, congratulations. You've now made it through Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 flawlessly. And we should get a pop here pretty quick. And it should be a new friend. Mui? I'm Ilo. Uh, I'm Lana, rather. And now, they're besties. And we're going to stay here for a second, guys. And then we're going to press our left trigger and press X. And it purrs. Ah, where is the new friend? There it is. Poof. A new friend. Rescuing Mui. At this point, guys, we can go ahead and pause our game. Quit to the main menu. Let's go ahead and turn in our rewards for the day. And remember to like and subscribe for more videos. And as always, guys, have a great day. See ya.